ऐसे नाउ बॉसी मांगो गो माया कौन देख बॉय बाद है इच्छा हेलो गाइस स्क्रीन में नाउ ना तू नहीं हो ना ब्लू आई अब नहीं हो ना नाइस तू मेल हो ना फेस वन तू मेल हो ना गाइस सिंदी हो यार डबल ब्लू कैंडी पेक Ndio tumeelewana Mr. Kan. Okay. Tunaenda kwenye liquidity void. Liquidity void ni ile movement ambayo kwa jina nyingine tunaita retracement. Price iko inatembea with high momentum, yani speed ya hali ya juu kwa mfano hii this range. Range kutoka hapa mpaka hapa. Hii tunaita liquidity void. Au hapo au this range. Hii pia tunaita liquidity void. Sawa? Price iko ina trend when price are in trending environment tunaita liquidity void sawa so guys hii tunaita liquidity void uh, ah yeah. ya hata hii hapa ni liquidity void zipo nyingi sana sasa so, inategemea kuna kwa kuna void of buy side au void of sell side liquidity sasa so, kama hapa ni ni uptrend inatengeneza void of sell side liquidity ikiwa ni downtrend inatengeneza void of buy side liquidity why is it a void of sell side liquidity and buy side liquidity okay wakati price kabla haijafanya trending environment wakati let's see mfano hapa moja tuone mfano wakati price haija trend haijatengeneza hii liquidity void hii kwa kuna hapa kwenye special range setup ilikuwa ina consolidate sawa wakati na console kutoka kuna orders zimekuwa build up above and below the market price. Sawa. So, kwa hiyo kutoka kuna seller au breakout trader wa London session au Asian session breakout trader what I expect soko litabai au litasell wataka pending orders au buy na sell. Lakini kama hapa imetengeneza scenario ya kuimeenda ku trigger sell stop orders au ambao wali anticipate soko litaendelea ku sell. Baada ku trigger sell stop order sa, then price ika move against them. Kwa hiyo ile movement ilisababisha i move against them imetokana na zile sell limit orders za. Ndio maana tunaita void of sell side liquidity. Maana ke liquidity sell stop sell orders zimekuwa engineered, zimekuwa engineered on the market. Sawa, so, zimekuwa liquidity on the market. Maana tunaita void of sell side liquidity. Na void of buy side liquidity ni inawezekana soko inafanya consolidation above or below baada ya kuwa kuna sell buy stop order au wameka wametarajia soko litaendelea kubai sawa so, baada ya kuanticipate itaendelea kubai soko lika trigger the order kwa mfano hii hapa ika trigger ku order ikatengeza AMD baadaye ka ka sell ime sell kwa sababu nini kwa sababu kulikuwa kuna buy stop order zimekuwa engineered of the market sawa so, tunaipa nguvu soko ili ifanye bearish movement. So this trend na ita void of buy side liquidity. Sawa? So, na ikiwa ina buy tunaita void of sell side liquidity. Sawa? So, na void of buy side liquidity and void of sell side liquidity ikiwa inafanyika kuwa inatengeneza imbalance ndani yake. Sawa? So, Ikisha tengeneza inatengeneza imbalance. Ikiwa price inafanya void of buy side or void of sell side liquidity au sometimes tunaita retracement ndani yake inatokea imbalance sawa so, inatokea healthy price or unhealthy price unhealthy price ni ile price ambayo ndani yake inatengeneza imbalance inatengeneza fair value gap kwa ina nyingine tunaita imbalance na ile fair value gap inatokea between candlestick ambazo zikiwa zinafanya high movement na fair value gap inatokea between weeks and weeks kwa mfano hii hapa wakati inafanya hii movement tunaona hapa hii imetengeneza unhealthy price hapa na hapa hii ni fair value gap uh, fair value gap kwa hiyo unaona hapa kuna gap ilitakiwa weeks hii hapa ikutane na hii weeks lakini asikukutana imetengeneza unhealthy price imetengeneza buy side imbalance sell side inefficient hapa ilikuwa kuna too many buyers less seller ndio maana imeendelea movement ya kubai ya speed 
what the narrative behind kwa hiyo hapa kuna scenario lazima price irudi hapa ni feed kwa maana price imefanya retracement na kuja kwa feed hapo ndio maana tunasema liquidity void must be filled kwa sababu inside of the, inside of the range inside of range of liquidity pool inatengeneza imbalance of the price soko haitakiwi kutengeneza inefficient price natakuwa nitengeze healthy price ambazo zimekuwa zimekuwa fair for everybody ta zimekuwa fair value for everybody the buy side and sell side kwa hiyo ikitengeneza imbalance kwa maana tunasema kuna principle inaitwa liquidity void must be filled ndio maana kama hii hapa imetengeneza liquidity void of sell side liquidity lazima baadaye itengeneze liquidity void of buy side liquidity naona this movement kwa field here sawa this movement ya buy ina fit this movement of fair value gap hapa ndio maana ikaendelea kusell na hii ya kusell imekuwa fit hapa sawa na hii hapa ya kusell chini inakuwa fit hapa some retracement ikakutana na element of trust setup of break hapa baada ya ikaendelea na continuation ya ya kusell why the good void is an element of trust setup kwa nini kwa sababu let's say example umekutana na order block tuseme kwa mfano umekutana na hii hapa element of test setup ya break umekutana nayo hii hapa sawa umeshakutana nayo lakini hujui what the reason behind kwa nini ubai okay of course una buy no not buy of course una sell kwa sababu it is a down trend right lakini kama ni down trend umekutana na element of test setup of a trade setup ipi umekutana na bearish order block kwa mfano hii hapa there is order block hapa ukaingia sokoni uka sell okay ume sell stop loss umeka hapa juu risa nyingine ya kuseli maana yake kuna liquidity void hapa kwenye hii candlestick hapa kwa hiyo lazima price ita sell na hapa tuna fair value tuna liquidity void na fair value kwa hiyo una anticipate take profit yako iwe hapa ama hapa kwa nini kwa sababu kuna liquidity void void of sell side liquidity ndio maana tunasema hii ni element of a trade setup kwa hiyo ukiingia tu sokoni zile liquidity void of buy side or sell side liquidity tunakuwa tuna anticipate zile tunaenda kwa feed ndio maana tunaishia pale take profit zetu ama sometimes price na hit old high ama old low kwa sababu kutokuwa kuna ule zile kwa build up ndio inafanya weeks alafu baadaye inafanya continuation ya trend tumeelewana hapo guys Guys. Naam naam bro. Umeeleweka? Hapo nimekupata. Nimepata vizuri. Ndio ndio. Very well understood, very well understood bro. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's continue LP. Tunaenda kwenye liquidity pool, okay? Liquidity pool hii ni moja kati ya element of trade setup au institutional reference points. Sasa tunapaswa kujua tu kwa nini price inatengeneza liquidity pool. That's the narrative behind. Of course tunasema price inatenda kwa kwa vitu vitatu ndio vinaendesha price. Liquidity and value. Sawa, so, liquidity and value. Nikizungumzia value tunazungumzia zile thamani ya currency. Tunazungumzia mambo ya fundamental speaking, inflation, deflation, interest rate and GDP. Sawa. So, hizo ndo ndo other reason ambazo zinatengenezwa zinaendesha price hizo ni value lakini kwa sasa hivi tutazungumzia hizi liquidity only liquidity pool liquidity pool kwa kwa logic ya kawaida price is clear when the price clear the previous high or low so baadaye kaacha weeks ile imetengeneza liquidity pool inawezekana isiwe previous high or low inawezekana siku ile ile lakini ilitengeneza some swing za high au za low zimeenda pale ka clear baadaye karudi sawa ndio tunakuja pale kwenye reasons za order block sometimes tunakutana na order tunaingia sokoni kwa logic ya order block lakini price na extend inaenda ku hit stop loss yako baadaye narudi on direction kwa nini kwa sababu kule imeenda kufanya pull of liquidity kuna central bank pending order zao zipo zimekuwa inject kwa maana zimekuwa triggered baadaye price ndio inarudi in a direction market maker people and other traders they can call it a stock hunting kwa maana mengine lakini is not true it's not true si ta hadi vitafsiri hivyo kama it's a stock hunting kwa sababu stock hunting watu wengi wanaelewa ni 
mtu kukutafutia hela zako wana hunting wa stop loss that's the true meaning of stop hunting lakini hapa sitosema ni stop hunting why is not a stop hunting utaelewa leo hapa hapa okay let's see this example utaelewa kwa nini nasema sio stop hunting Let's find any example ambayo ime okay. Uwa. Uwa kwa mfano. Okay. Price hapa unaona ime clear this swing high hapa. Yeah. Baada ku clear hapa ikaja huku juu. Sawa? Sasa hii movement tunaita pull of liquidity. Tunaita pull of liquidity pull. Sawa? kwa logic ya kawaida unasema hapa kulikuwa kuna buy stop holders zimekuwa triggered baadaye price ika move against them maana zile ndio zimekuwa engineering liquidity zimekuwa engineered orders hapa za buy stop ambao people do not anticipate itaendelea kubaya hiyo ni, ni, ni logic ya kawaida tu ambazo retail trader wengi sana wanaifahamu lakini institutional logic price it clear his previous high or any high or swing low lazima highest probability imeenda katika element of trade setup yoyote imeenda ku clear pale ku trigger pending order alafu ndio ikaenda against na kama utakuamini kama kuwa kuna element of trade setup ukiangalia hapa kwenye hii weeks kwenye hii weeks hapa tunaweza tukaona element of trade setup kwenye higher time frame let's let's see waje tukaangalie kwenye higher time frame hakuna element of trade setup see mnaona hapa kwa kuna order block si unaona hii hapa kumbe price imeenda ku hit order block huku juu ili hapa hii sawa imeenda ku hit ile order block sawa baadaye ikasaidi kumbe huku juu kulikuwa kuna sell limit order sell sell order pending orders of central bank na other major bank hizo kina JP Morgan na other institutions wameweka kule order zao ikifika kule ina trigger baadaye ina sell hiyo inakuja chini inaendelea na movement yake lakini watu wao wanasema imeenda kufanya stop hunting there is no stop hunting kama ingekuwa kuna stop hunting hey ni ngumu sana kutokea stop hunting always ipo lakini sio kama vile inavyofundishwa na hata retail trader. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu gani? Move, yani ku move this one minute candlestick, ku move hii candlestick kutoka hapa kuja huko, ime cost millions of millions of millions of millions of lots ku move hii candlestick hapa kuja huko juu. Sawa? Kwa hiyo institutional government, other private sector ambazo zina trade au central bank transaction, they can't they they will never never cost millions of millions of millions of their lot kwa ajili ya dola tano yako ambayo hapa uliweka stop loss yako au dola kumi yako hapa they won't do that hawafanyi hicho kitu kwa sababu hawezekani wakost wafanye kazi kubwa kwa mshahara mdogo wa dola tano zako inaenda hapa kwa sababu kuna institutional reference point ambazo pale wameka order zimeenda kuwa mitigate baada ya price kuendelea direction yake na ndio maana nikasema how to trade it kama huku huelewi kama kuna element of trade setup point is a reference point unasubiri price a rule kwenye this range inside of this range ya liquid pool unaweka pending order hapo hapo unaweka sell stop hapa unaweka sell stop hapa na stop loss yako unaweka juu ya hii liquid pool iliyotengenezwa huko sawa baadaye unaacha una, una soko litembee unaona kama umeweka hapa manake linatembea kwa speed tu anaka hapa ume, ume, ume catch big pips ya overall direction umeipata ya down trend umeelewa hapo lp na ufanyika kwa hiyo na kwenye down trend ni hivyo hivyo sawa mfano hii hapa sorry hii hapa this okay hii hapa ni lp liquidity pool This is an liquidity pool. Sawa? So, hii ni liquidity pool. Umeona hiyo? Kwa hiyo lakini imetengenezwa liquidity pool. Why price imeja ku clear huko all low? Why? Ask yourself why. There has to be a reason. Lazima huko kwenye liquidity pool kuna any element of trade setup or institutional reference point 
ipo kwenye higher time frame either weekly month or daily itakuwepo sawa imekuja baadaye ndio ikabaye unaweza ukaiona si umeona hii hili lote hili lilikuwa ni order block hili hapa sawa order block hili hapa hili ni mtu unasema ni bearish candlestick hapa ya monthly kwa hiyo kumbe tulikuwa tuna monthly order block hapa popote sawa hapa pot hapa mpaka hapa lakini inside of this monthly order block ndani yake kutoka kuna order block ndogo sana ndogo za swing smaller time frame na hizi tunaweza tukaenda kwenye let's go daily ndio tukaiona clear ikija huko yes this one ilikuwa ni hapa sawa Hello, let's go to weekly. Let's find it. Sorry. Ndio haribu kuona nisha clear. Mfano hii hapa, yes. Ili muone. Okay, huwa. Hii hapa ndio liquidity pool yetu. Kiangalia hapa kuna hii hapa order block. Umeona hii? Hii hapa. We do have this order block here hapa candlestick hii hapa. Oh price imekuja huku kuchukua liquidity pool sababu huko kuna kuna bullish order block baadaye ka ikaendelea movement ya kubai. Sawa ikatengeza void of sell side liquidity Okay guys nice to memaliza liquidity pool sorry kidogo tumemaliza liquidity pool Any questions so far on liquidity pool Tumesha cover liquidity pool fair value gap equity void order block and breaker Nice zitakuwa zimeisha hizo tano element of a trade setup kama kuna mtu hajaelewa katika hizo tano naomba aulize swali au ama kuna sehemu hajapaelewa naomba ufahamishane. Nisaka nisamani. Yes. Kwenye liquidity pool ulisema kuna vitu vitatu lakini ulitaja viwili kuna liquidity na value. Au labda nilisikia vibaya. Nimesema ni viwili. Ah sawa. Ah, nikasema yani soko linaendeshwa na vitu viwili na liquidity and the value of the price value of the yeah. currency value of the currency manaika hiyo ni fundamental speaking unaangalia mambo ya inflation interest rate and the gdp kuona major trend ya wiki ya mwezi au ya mwaka lakini kwa day trade weekly tunaangalia liquidity pool only ah sawa ah asante Yes. Come on guys. Guys, guys, come on. Come on, mero like it. Ramadhani Sadiki Damon nipo Mr Damon vipi mmeelewa hakuna swala lolote Akupata vizuri brother nimekuelewa vizuri Kiona swali nitauliza tu Ah thank you so much Mr Chief Ah uh, bro mimi nakuelewa vizuri kabisa na kuelewa na kupata sema nimejumute kidogo mpaka nipo kwenye kelele kelele nipo shop Ah wow, okay una shop na weekend wao wow. ngera sana Ndio I think some na maswala au kwa sababu Mr Page hayupo maana Mr Page ndio kiongozi wenu au kugonga maswali
guys zimeisha hapo au kuna kitu naomba mnaweza mkashauri nikaongezea kama mjakielewa au nikarudia sehemu Uh, samani Mr. Kan nimejua labda tunaendelea lakini kama tumemaliza kulikuwa kuna kiswali kidogo hapa hivi ni mda gani tutajua kuwa liquid pool inaenda kutokea exact time hatuwezi kujua tunasubiri mpaka ikishatokea ah uh, okay kwa hiyo ikishatokea ikifanye pull back tunaingia yes the man make us late in the order buy stop or sell stop kwa isipo 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 kufanya pull back market tuna tuna assume kwamba tume yani tume miss yes isipo fanya pull back maana yake inaendelea na ile major movement yake kwa mfano kama hii hapa unaona hii liquid pool hapa unaona hii eh ndio hapa unaona time clear hii previous low time clear hapa maana yake nini maana yake utakao uweke buy stop hapa kwenye order block lako alafu kwenye liquid it void inapo inapotokea ndio kuna kitu umesema kwamba ikiwa kwenye downtrend kuna kitu kama void buy side liquidity ndio ehe kwa hiyo maana tunavizia kwamba ikishatokea ile liquidity void tunasubiri either irudi kama kuna fair value gap imefanyika ndio tunafanya entry au inakuwaje au nitakuwa sijielewa vizuri sio hapo ndio sahihi kama Anisawe. yes kama kwa mfano this movement hapa umetengeza void of nini buy side ni good si ndio kwa hiyo inside of this range kuna imbalance sawa mm. kuna imbalance mm. ukiangalia imbalance unaona hii hapa this one mm. hiyo yote mm. ni, 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 ni imbalance kwa hiyo unaweza kuchukulia fair value gap is an element of a trend setter sawa unge unge ungeingia mm uka 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 sell kwenye this retrace na mpaka huko naingia hapo same mm. sahihi ya kuingia kwenye this element of the setup tutazungumzia entry techniques sawa tunazungumzia mm. entry techniques ambayo unatumia ile fibonacci ili kupata entry technique nzuri ambayo property yake tunasema una una zero una 1 na 0.5 0.5 or 50% is a fair value of the element of a trade setup. Si mnaikumbuka? Umesema umesema kuna 0, kuna 1, alafu kuna 0.5 ambayo ni 50. Ndio. Yes. Ah bas 0, 0 1 na 0.5 bas. Eh 0 1 and 0.5. Kwa 0.5 unaweka description is a equilibrium. Ndio hii zile nyingine unaweza ukazipa majina yote au ukazita high or low sawa whatever you want to call it mradi hiyo inaleta maana sahihi ya ulichokupigia okay na unapo unapochagua order block un, lazima uconsider zile weeks yes lazima uconsider zile weeks kwa sababu wakati hii inatengenezwa weeks, weeks ilikuwa kuna nasema kuna participant pia wapo wabaya na sera kwa maana kuna kuna mm. weeks ndefu na ndogo lazima u consider yeah. Yeah, na inside of inside of this week ujue kwenye smaller yeah. time frame una order block ndani yake either 1 minute or 5 minutes inside of higher time frame order block weeks ndani yake kuna mm. order block the smaller time frame kwa maana tuna consider the whole candlestick mm na ninapotaka kufanya analysis ni time frame gani ambayo ni nzuri au kwa sisi tunaweza tukafanya tuka analysis kwenye time frame yoyote yes una, una na, na shauri utoke weekly unakuja top down unakuja weekly unashuka daily unakuja 4 hours 1 hour 30 minutes 15 minutes zote hizo unapitia una, una 
lakini when it come to entry lazima ushuke mpaka 1 minute so ili kuangalia entry vizuri tutajadili tutajiscuss vizuri katika ile kuna video fulani nimetoa ya unasema smaller time frame entry techniques sawa mambo ya focal point yeah, order block nimetoa nime group na hisi unaweza ukaiona kwa download kwa check kidogo ika kurahisishia ili tuka ili tukifika katika kipengele cha kudiscuss ukapata ume uko mm, umeelewa yeah. kabisa au kuna masuala mengi zaidi na hii sinakuwa applied hadi kwenye kwenye zile indices zote zote any market any market you can apply it ah sawa ah sawa amna swala yote bado dakika tano zimesalia Aisi kama kuna swala na aisi tumalize kwa leo tutaendelea kesho Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes, yes. Samani kidogo Yes kwenye ile WSMR kuna vitu kama eh, kuna vitu kama vitatu hivi ambavyo huaga vinanichanganya ile kuna se, kuna kitu kuna sema if tuesday is lower than monday then what does this mean for wednesday yes. alafu ya pili if tuesday is higher than monday then what does this mean for wednesday alafu kuna ya tatu if thursday is higher than friday then what does the following monday looks like okay thank you so Unaiza much uka, ni ni kwa leo unaweza ukapoda fulia kidogo eh ndio kwa leo sitoa dada fulia kwa sababu discussion ya leo inazungumzia element of test setup discussion zinazofuata nitawa dada fulia vizuri sana na of course kwenye hilo group zipo hizo video ambazo nimesha dada fua unaweza uka cross check mm. ukapitia zikakusaidia mm. kabla hatujaendelea na hiyo discussion ya weekly smart man branch hapa tutajadili yeah. tutadiscuss video moja baada ya nyingine sawa moja baada ya yeah. nyingine kutoka weekly smart man range tutajadili nyingine week of schematic zote tutaenda ili mtu awe flexible haya asante mr damod namalizia Ramadhan Sadiq Naam naam brother Ais na ais kama una swala na ais ushie hapo kwa leo Tutaendelea kesho Ta Tutaendelea kesho Na ais niwatakie weekend njema Sawa Weekend njema na nyinyi pamoja na familia yenu kwa jumla na maandalizi mema ya kutredi for upcoming week thank you thomas thank you for your time guys have a lovely wonderful weekend guys